everyone it's Nicole and I'm here with my first layout for 2014 and I thought it would be great to do a goals layout and um, I don't have too many pictures of me so this is a picture of me and my friend when we were in New York so I just thought that I would reuse a photo you know that it's it's um, not too too old it's about a year and a half old so um, and I couldn't find any other recent ones so that background paper is my mind's eye then this one here was I can't remember who made that one but it has a nice uh, brown and cream polka dot on the back and I'm just trying to use up you know some of my scraps too and that background paper has so many layers on it it looks like it's already layered so I really really like it and it's from the collection my mind's I um, find your wings and fly so I'm, I'm going to put a little bit of, of not even layering but a little bit of an embellishments because a lot of it 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 already is on that pattern paper there's a lot of layers into it and so once I mad at my photo I'm like okay now I already know what I want my title to be it's going to be goals 2014 and um, I wrote them down and then I also put it on a little tag that I'm going to stick in behind the photo and that's more like talk through it the other one I'm going to do more point form on directly on the layout plus tomorrow I'm going to go get a like a planner just at the dollar store I don't want anything expensive just something really cheap because there's a lot of of my goals that it is um, one of them is to get or more organized you know because I do work a lot and uh, my kids are involved in a lot of stuff plus I'm you know a nanny and and so there's a lot of stuff that a lot of balls in the air that I always have to to juggle and um, so as I go through my my goals I'll explain sort of like why that it, it's now a goal so I want to use one of those frames and I'm going to cut it apart and then I'm going to cut right into the layout and I'm going to stick that frame in there because I, I mean it looks like layers so I want it to look like layers. That little camera looks like an Instagram and one of my goals this year is to play more with Instagram because it is so cool like I just I love it but I don't know enough about it so I am feeling a little I don't know. I don't use it as much as I should actually I don't use it at all <laughs> I've, I've posted like four pictures so I I want to be more on Instagram and do the filters with my photos and all that stuff now I'm cutting out a little camera and that was from a project life card that was a leftover and one of my goals is to take more pictures and I you know I take a lot of pictures now but I want to take more day-to-day -day pictures and that's where it brings me to my project life I want to do project life this year and I want to do uh, I don't think it's going to be as hard as December daily because December daily is daily so I mean you have to do a page for every day so that's that's huge so I think a couple of pages per one week is going to be really easy to do or easier I should say and um, so I'm trying to find something that I can put that little camera on because I'm going to use one of my Hero Arts uh, daubers, the Pale Tomato, and I'm going to color it in because I want everything to be um, sort of pinkish on this layout. Now another one of my goal is to try a new technique, one new technique every month. So a new scrapbooking technique every month. I want to complete uh, 20 pages per month, which in the last year I did about 16 so I just added about four more a month because I took in consideration that I got to do four project life too so that'll give me eight more a month right and I didn't want to you know over overextend myself and then I want to use my stuff use my stash and um, catch up on my kits which will probably mean that I'm going to cancel my Studio Calico kit 
in my Scraptastic kit, it probably means that I'm just going to get like, I'm not going to get the four of them. I'll just maybe get two. Do you know what I mean? Like, just so that I can catch up. And um, I am was usually really big at making lists. And this past year, I stopped that. And I noticed that it doesn't help <laughs> with trying to be organized. I'm a list person and I got to get back into that. And that's where the planner is going to come in. I'm going to, I love scratching things off a list. I, I just love it. Like even sometimes I, if I did something that wasn't on the list, I would write it on the list just so I could scratch it off. <laughs> just because I just love scratching things off a list. So this is where I took my exacto knife and I cut into the paper in one of those layers so that it, I could tuck that frame that I cut in almost two thirds and one third in behind. So that was another one. Um, enjoy family and friends. Um, there's one of my friend, I mean, when the kids were young, we used to get together three or four times a week when, you know, and our kids would play together. We did all our vacations together, um, camping, you know, every Sunday we used to have lunch together, like families and stuff. And I haven't seen her in a year. Like that's, that's just sad. So I want to make sure that I make time for that this year. Um, you know, and, and make time for, for friends. And um, maybe my mom lives about two hours away. So maybe try to, you know, go a little bit more. I know during hockey season, it's almost impossible because they have a hockey game every, um, every weekend, but you know, closer to summer, if, if we could go more often. And then this year, I want to declutter. I just want to go room by room. I think I did two rooms last year, but this year I want to do the, the rest of, you know, if I haven't used it in X amount of months, I'll decide the amount of month. It's just going to be gone. You know, if I haven't worn a piece of clothing in, and I'm not one that's big on getting a whole bunch of clothes anyway. That's, it's just not me. I'm a jean and t-shirt girl. So now I'm going to um, go back to the layout here. I'm going to put some, uh, what's it called? Where is it? Glossy accent on that little camera so that it's nice and shiny. And then I'm going to put it aside and let it dry. I should have done that earlier in the layout, but I never thought of it. So that's why I'm a, a little behind doing it because it does take a long time to dry. So some of the glossy accent was going in sort of little cracks. So I was just taking my exacto knife and pulling them out. Now another thing with completing 20 pages per month, like I said, this is a point by point, um, a point form list. Um, that means 20 videos a month. That's my goal that I want to do and scrapbook page and then hopefully for project life so i'm hoping that's gonna be 24 videos a month so hope i can you know get that done um another thing i put is get healthy and the reason that i put that down and you know what i didn't share on here at all what was going on uh just because um because of my previous health issues when I was 25, whenever, you know, the doctor tells me that there's something going on, whatever the case may be, I can't help it. Like I just, if I talk about it, then I worry about it. So then I just don't talk about it. <laughs> so then I don't worry about it. So at the end of November, and I mean, we're going back, you know what I mean? A month and a half. Um, I went to the doctor because I was, I shared on here a few times, I just wasn't feeling good all the time. So he put me off for um, three, three weeks, three and a half weeks to try to, because he said I did not look healthy, like I was just looking gray and, and really 
almost really no color whatsoever. And then he sent me for a whole bunch of tests and it came back that I was um, anemic and it, it was really quite low. And that's the reason that I was so tired and so sick all the time. So I have to take three iron pills a day. Then we did some more tests and then he um, found something else and I was sent to a specialist and I just saw the specialist on December 30th. And he told me, you know, not to worry. And so I'm totally not going to worry. I'm going to see the specialist again in a month because I'm going to have the, the results and everything. And, but he said not to worry, you know, everything looked good from what he could see, you know what I mean? And, um, and then I'm going to see my regular doctor too, because I got to do more blood tests because he's going to make sure that my blood is going up. But I think it is because I'm feeling a little better or much better. And so I was off till December 15th on sick leave. And then I was starting vacation on December 17th till January 12th. So that gave me a good amount of time off. I only took a few shifts here and there and that was it. So that's why you've been seeing me a lot on YouTube because I ha I was home, although I slept. All I did was sleep. I was sleeping 12 hour days or 12 hour nights. And then um, I'd be up for three or four hours and then I would sleep for two, three hours. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, you know, as this is talking about my goals, my goals, my goal, one of my biggest goal, and I kept it for last, is to get healthy. Um, I'm going to start going. I have a treadmill here, so I'm going to start going on the treadmill and just get healthy. I don't care if it's just 15 minutes a day. Like, I just want to get healthy. And another thing is just, you know, get her, get her done, just like what my Facebook group is all about. And that I'm not just talking about scrapbooking. I'm talking about getting healthy. I'm talking about, you know, getting stuff done because hopefully, hopefully I'm almost afraid to say it because it didn't happen last year because, you know, complications and people not doing what they were going to say they were going to do. And so we didn't end up being able to build our house last year. So we're hoping to do it this year, but I never say anything's a for sure thing because you never know, right? So hopefully, um, if we do though, I want to be able to, that when it's time to move, it's like, all we got to pack up is actually stuff that we want to bring. So just get her done. And my last thing that I put, and Ali Edward talks about your word for the year. So for me, <laughs> it's kind of funny saying this as the last thing, because I feel kind of out of breath, but... <laughs> my word for the year and my motto or whatever the case may be is just breathe just you know like and that's why I want to do list I want to get stuff done but I also want to take time to just breathe just take time to stop and do nothing or you know go for a date with my hubby or go for a coffee with my hubby. It doesn't have to be anything, you know, extravagant. Just even, you know, when we go clean out, we clean out our vehicle once a month. We go vacuum it, wash it. He vacuums, I wash the inside and all this. And we call it our date. <laughs> uh, usually we go out for lunch after or something like that. But we always go together and it gets cold here. So when it's minus 30 degrees, um, it's it's not a fun date. I can I can tell you that. But you know, it's something that needs to be done. So just things like that, you know, spend time more time with friends and you know, get things done but then take time also to just relax, you know, and um, it's going to be a crazy year if we do end up building, you know, anybody that's built, I, we've never built before, but from what we're told, it kind of gets crazy, you know? So 
we know that that's coming. So I want to make sure that whenever we have a downtime that we take time to just breathe. So that's going to be my word for 2014 is just breathe. And I'm just, I'm going to have to just breathe too when I try to get healthy, right? When I'm trying to exercise and, and, um, and just dealing with life, you know, like if you're having struggles with, uh, with your kids, with, Um, at work or whatever before you react just breathe so that's going to be my word Um, and those are my goals and I'm sure like I said it's it's all point form so it a lot of these within that one goal there's going to be goals in that too like take more pictures Part of that is this year, I want to make sure that I hand the camera over a whole lot more because I'm hardly in any pictures. Like I had a hard time finding a picture so I could do this layout. So while I was, I slowed down quite a bit the camera, not the camera, the video this time because I knew I had a lot of stuff to say about the goals and not necessarily about the scrapbook page, which still kind of leaves me time to kind of throw in there too what I did for the scrapbook page so I took out my favorite washi tape that pink washi tape I added it in three areas and um, now I'm going to add the title which is goals 2014 and I'm using those begonia um, thickers and I love them they're from Amy Tangerine I believe yes Amy Tangerine and they're nice pink and I love using them and I was watching um, a video from Chamel and it might have been one that you had to pay for it like on two piece but anyway she she talks about her thickers and she says um, that if she can get at least four layouts done with one thicker one set of thicker then she feels like she used them to their potential now, for me, I'm going to I'm going to try and cuz to me they're like $6, I believe. So, I want to make it so that it's like 50 cents each layout. Do you know what I mean? So, if I can do 12 layouts with a set of thickers, I'm going to be happy. So, what I'm going to start doing is every time I use a thicker, I don't know if I'm going to put a little piece of Uh, paper in there or maybe oh maybe I can use a sharpie and just do like little lines you know like when you're counting down something and just put it right on the sticker sheet and try to use it you know at least 12 times each letter so maybe in my stash that I'm going to use with my kits I'm going to choose x amount of thickers and then I'm going to you know try to use them so until they have 12 pages done and then I'll feel like yes I got them used so these are a bunch of um, paper clips that I've gotten in different hauls and what I do is every time I get paper clips I just throw them all in there so then I know that they're all in one spot it's just a nice little size baggie and I just throw them in there and now I know I want to use that sticker that says that's what she said and that's because that's my goals that's that's what she said like me that's what she said it's it's going to be my goals and I'm going to put one of those arrows at the bottom of the layout and and then I'm going to put a white arrow at the top left with that Instagram little camera or what reminds me of Instagram because it seems to me like on your phone the little Instagram uh, icon looks like that so that's it reminded me of an inst- Instagram. So now I'm going to use my new markers that I got. And what I'd done was just on a piece of scrap paper, I started writing down what my goals, what I, you know, some of the things I wanted to, I don't, New Year's resolution, I don't know. Um, more like goals, you know, like I just, I just, these this these are the, some of the things that I want to get done this year. Does it mean that it's all going to be done, you know, by the end of January? Absolutely not. Um, I have twelve months to get some of these done, and it's just I'm gonna 
like I said, get a planner and like the one room per month, I'm going to divide it up in four weeks and then I'm going to have my work schedule in there because when I work, there's not too much I can do because I get home and my, and my brain, my body, everything is fried. <laughs> I worked yesterday, January 1st, and I thought, oh yeah, when I come home, you know, I'll be able to do my goals and blah, 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 and there was no way. I hadn't worked, um, well, I had worked on the 30th, but um, I'd, I hadn't gotten up at 4.30 in the morning in a long time, so it was, whew, it was, abs you know, exhausting, so I went to bed. <laughs> uh, so there was a foam tape in behind that button that came from the freckled font kit that I got for the December kit and it's a cute little button and it has a little epoxy sticker inside and it's a camera with a heart and but the foam tape was way too big so I just took that off and just put some glue dots. So now I'm just putting some glue dots on those arrows and I'm just going to stick them where they need to be. So I kind of made um, three little clusters and actually one of the clusters is going to be done off camera because my battery died. And you're going to see it in the close-up pictures though. But I thought instead of, you know, waiting the hour that it was ready to re, you know, being able to film again, there's no way I would have been able to upload this layout tonight uh, on YouTube. So I just wanted to get it done and upload it so I could get, you know, a page done um, or upload it in on the 2nd of January. So these are the twines that Janet uh, sent to me and she had actually wrapped the whole thing with a cute little twine. It's like a craft twine and I don't want to throw it out so I don't want to cut it. So I'm just kind of wiggling it out and then I'm um, actually going to use it on this page because um, I don't want to throw it out. It's so cute. It's a nice twine. Um, actually, Janet, if you're watching this, if you can tell me what kind of twine that is, um, <laughs> I, I might be on the hunt for it and, and try to, and to find it because I, I just love it. And this is where I'm going to put some of that favorite pink twine that I love. And that's going to be where I'm going to do more writing on that tag. And now I'm going to start writing down my list. And this is going to be point point form. And I'd love to get some kind of planner where um, that the whole month will be would be on two different pages, but that you see the whole month and that in each little spot you would have room to write. So that's what I'm going to look for, but I don't want to pay $30 for it. I just want something that's, you know, fairly cheap. So I'm going to go to the dollar store first and see if there's anything there. And if not, I'm going to go to Michael's too, because I bet you they might have stuff there. And I might actually look here too, because it seems to me I had bought one that was sort of a desk one. So even if I could put it on my desk and just, or my, on my table here and, and just do that. So, so those new pens that I got from Stedler. I absolutely love them. I love the thickness of the the nib, I guess. Um, I really love the way that it writes. It's 0.3. It's 0.3 the size. So, and there's 10 different uh, markers. So a nice, nice um, range of color. And once I wrote it all down, it wasn't on this, but I wrote on something else and I was trying to wipe my hand over it to see if it would um, bleed and it didn't. You know, sometimes when you write and if your the rest of your hand goes through it and it'll bleed, like it'll make a mess on your, on your paper. Well, it didn't do that. So I was really happy. And I think I forgot to mention that under the goals 2014, I did put a doily there because in the paper there was a doily where that Instagram what, or the camera that reminds me of the Instagram, there's a doily there. So I want to put another little piece of doily. And once the camera dies, I'm going to put some enamel dots 
And then I'm going to cut the rest of those little cameras that came on that project life card. And I'm going to put it with the little cluster at the top left with that little, little camera, the pink camera, the one that I changed the color. And then I'm going to put a little cluster right above the tag. Um, I'm going to put a little camera, some enamel dots and some of that twine that I'm tying right now around that frame. On the video, you're going to see me do two of them. And then I'm going to do that third one at the top right of the layout, just above that tag. And I'm also going to add some washi tape to that tag and the word just do it in the mini market. Uh, what are they called? The pink ones anyway. So I'm going to put another twine bow right here at the bottom right on that frame. So this is where the battery dies and I'm going to show you a few close-ups so you can see those little cameras right there tucked in by the where the enamel dots are and then I put that sticker that's what she said and I put the sticker the routine and more enamel dots and there's the list and then I'm going to show you the tag and I put just do it in some washi tape and right above the tag you see the other little camera and the twine and everything. So that's it. The page is done. Thanks for watching. Bye.